Do you have, <clears throat> excuse me, seasonal allergies? There's mine right now. <laughs> Nutrition, nutritionist and wellness expert Rose Reisman tells us which foods to avoid and which to incorporate into our diets to minimize allergy symptoms. My sneezing's already starting in the morning. Okay, and I, I, I don't here. think I'm sadistic. I was so happy to hear you have allergies because then this really, <laughs> I can really work with this segment. Oh yeah, I'm your oh, guinea pig today. All right, so now we start from now right until October. We have allergies from yes. grass, mold, pollen. What happens is these things invade your body and your body wants to get rid of them. So they produce what's called histamines. Yes. Histamines cause the runny nose, the itchy throat, the coughing, the sneezing. But some of us don't react to it. Why? It might be a genetic component, mm. or it might be you have a stronger immune system. Okay. So this is what we're going to talk yeah, about what's here. Yeah, it's typically benign and innocuous. Your body's trying to fight. Abs absolutely. Okay. And part of the reason, there's an increase, double or triple, Dina, of all these allergies now because of our climate. We're getting warmer. We live in a bubble today. We're so hygiene crazy. Too much. And we're eating a lot of inflammatory foods, which is processed foods and things okay. that can raise and, and hurt your immune system. So our diet can right, alleviate so here we go. Absolutely. So first of all, let's look at vegetables. These vegetables here, they're high in what's called antioxidants. Kids who have asthma, they'll have three times fewer symptoms if mom can include this in their diet. So will a kid eat an eggplant like that? No, but put it in your chili, put it in your uh, stews, in your soups. But if your kid is suffering asthma, try this. And every one of these tips here, try for two weeks and see whether the symptoms alleviate, and they do okay. in so many times so in the cases. So those are beans, zucchini, cucumbers, tomatoes, You got eggplant. it, and okay. great for soups and everything else. Now, fruits and vegetables high in vitamin C and E. If you have swelling in your airways, I don't know if you get that, but you're wheezing, you have trouble breathing, catching your breath, uh, that means often that um, these foods can help reduce those, those symptoms for sure. And this is something that you should look at. Uh, if you have those symptoms. Fill up on vitamin C. People Ab don't realize red peppers have just as much, if not more. More than vitamin oranges. You notice oranges. I didn't put an orange here. I know. Strawberries have more vitamin C. Right? So take a picture of this with your mind. Okay. All right, now there's an antioxidant called quercetin. And quercetin, um, if you have a stuffy and runny nose, this is the, the highest symptom of hay fevers. These are the kind of foods you want to eat. They're antioxidants, so you've got cabbage. You can see cruciferous vegetables, berries, grapes. Right. Apples with the skin, you have to have the skin to fight this. Okay. But this is great, and you don't have to worry about the word quercetin. It's just that it's, it's an antioxidant. Garlic, onion. All right, now fish, and I knew you smelled my I fish I smelled that fish, Rose. All right, but it's a canned tuna. <laughs> all right, fish we all know is good for us, but they have anti-inflammatory properties. Okay, why? The omega-3 fatty acids. So if you have fish, salmon, tuna, canned salmon, sardines, even fish pills, once a week, 80% less hay fever symptoms. Are you serious? Serious. So I want people who've got hay fever, try this once a week. But at the same time, you're trying to get rid of some of the foods we'll talk about that have too many histamines. Too many. And, and you would take these once a week? I, no, supplement? no. The pills uh, once a day. Once a day. Yeah. Okay. Two, two to four tablets a day. Probiotics. Gut health today is everything, right? We all hear about our gut health, mm. our intestinal health, because that's where immune systems stem from, your gut health. So things you look for is yogurt. And I'm not talking about the yogurt that's with sugar or artificial sweeteners. I'm talking about a good yogurt. It could be Greek yogurt or plain miso paste. Kefir is also something. Studies have shown here that if you have two cups of yogurt a day, it's not a lot, you can reduce your histamines in your body by 50% as opposed to drinking milk. Oh, that's huge. Milk produces a lot of mucus. So good point there. Okay. Now we've got foods that are rich in vitamin E and magnesium. Magnesium's become a real buzzword today too. 30% less hay fever symptoms if we look at some of these foods. So whole grains, nuts, seeds, avocado, dried fruits, some fish again, and dark chocolate, which I love. Let's get to All the right. aggravation These station, are the ones. Rose. So they contain high histamines. That means they're going to make your symptoms worse. worse. All right, milk. Because it produces a lot of thick mucus, you want to go to something like a nut milk instead. Cheddar cheese, my favorite, but, I, but I don't have allergies, so I'm okay. Yeah. So hard cheeses or very ripe, mature cheeses cut back on. Chili peppers, hot sauce, people love it, but yeah. if you notice your symptoms are getting worse, that sneezing and crying after eating chili peppers and a tortilla. It's increasing your increasing. histamines. And pickled, pickles, sauerkraut raises it. Anything processed, I don't have to tell you, these are very high in histamines. And good news, bad news, red wine has got 20% more histamines than white wine. So you'd rather have a glass of white, white wine than red. red. And anything with these colors in it, 
please. These colors also high, high in histamines. So I want to just leave with one thing. The Mediterraneans did a study and their diet, they end up having, you know, fresh fruits, vegetables, grains, yogurt, olive oil. They have half the amount of allergies oh, than our children and adults have. On diet alone. On diet alone. So my advice, Take some of these foods, eliminate them for a while, for two weeks in your diet. And see if you notice a difference and, in relief. And for your young kids. So pregnant moms, this means a lot because your child, it's like peanut allergies. Moms should eat peanuts. Give peanuts to kids at around three months old. Chances are they won't have the same peanut allergies oh, we they see. Create, they help create the immunity. Absolutely. Beginning from in utero. You got it. Great stuff, Rose. Thank you so much. Breakfasttelevision.ca for all of this. It's a lot to digest. <laughs> Pun intended. Over to you, Kev. <laughs> So the only thing I took from that is, Rose, drink more white wine and move to the Mediterranean. <laughs> you got it, Kevin. Okay, I like good. when that's, you listen. That's it. That's all she had to say. That's Thanks, it. Kevin. All right. He's Thank up you.